It's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have got myself an 18 inch by 24 inch black primed canvas and some glasses and a will to play. And what I really want to do is spread some paint, ooh, is spread some paint and get rid of that lump on the end of that that's making it go everywhere. And um, use my Princeton, excuse me, use my OXO omelet turning spatula and spread that paint out a little bit. So if I decide I'd like to add some more paint over it, it may sell or create patterns, or I could tip it. Whatever it is, it's a facilitatory tool to make whatever comes next happen. And I'm pretty interested in seeing what's gonna happen. And I have no idea, to be honest with you. And I've been doing abstract expressionist um, artwork, I guess. You're just going to have to call it artwork. <laughs> and I haven't played with my black canvases yet to see what would happen. And I really think I'm excited about the possibilities. Whoops. I don't want that to go over the edge. Well, it didn't go that far over the edge. It actually didn't go over the edge at all. Now, I often will use a white near my neon folk art purple because otherwise there's a very good chance that it will dry burgundy. And I, I haven't done, like I said, I haven't done the black canvas before but I'm excited to see what will happen with the colors that I'm using on top of wet paint and in combination with the other paint. That did not come out as much as I wanted it to. And I need to just allow myself to throw caution to the winds to a certain degree and let paint mix itself as it will to see what's going to happen in future. And I can always come back and add some more white. I have Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas. I think I tried to mention those. They're on my Amazon link below the video. And I'm going to use some of them. Am I? <laughs> I'm going to try and use some of them. I think I'm just going to squeeze that into place. There we go. That's cool. I love the black background for working with things. I kind of want to use my spatula on the edge of the canvas and put some paint along there because paint flows to paint. And if I have anything right up to the edge, that means what's on the edge will have a chance to be encouraged to flow over, which will cover the blank spot. And I'm dumping my bottles over and I'm not happy about it. <laughs> I love this color shift blue from Folk Art. And actually, it's a blue flash. Blue brill blue bright? Ah, eh, that's a different language. Never mind. Anyway, so I'm using that. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, excuse me. I thought I was going to sneeze. I think the birds are here and the pollen is here all at the same time. I thought I was going to sneeze. I really did. That would have been interesting. <laughs> Maybe not. And I am having a good time and I'm happy to use All of the colors at my disposal, all of my favorite colors, just for the fun of it. I am very tempted to use that white pearl and some of the color shift. And some of the others as well, right there. I haven't put any Prussian blue down there yet. I like the Prussian blue. I usually like it with some black. That gives me a chance to pick that up. And I will probably put some more... Oh, look at that. Agitated paint sells, so it's a good thing to use the spatulas on your paint to swipe it out. Because that's when your cells happen. I've got paint on my hands and i got to be a little careful of that. Alright, so I could do a number of things over here, including using that basting brush, and it's very tempting. If I was gentle enough, I think I could probably get away with 
coming back and swiping if I don't like it. Just trying to let the paint that's on those silicone bristles sort of fall off. In a slightly rhythmic pattern. I think the whole trick to this is seeing where you need your paint and going ahead and giving yourself permission to use it. But as long as there's other colors there, there's a very good chance of making some new patterns. I'm going to let that go down right over the edge and fill in right to the corner. Come back over here and do what I said I was going to do. I think I'm going to put some white in there. It's another white pearl. And if I want to go back and add some gold, I can. That's kind of mixing. I am having a good time though, I gotta say. I'm not feeling like I have to leave that purple alone. I like the idea of both some gold and some of that blue. And I don't mind this over here that's not being agitated, but I don't like that little splash there. So I'm gonna take the paint that's on my silicone basting brush, which came up from Walmart, by the way. I don't know if they always have them or if they just had them on the day I was there, but there aren't any anymore right now, so um, when you see them, grab them. They're not, in, they're not expensive, and uh, I pull out every other bristle so that there won't be a whole lot of paint without a chance for there to be a stroke attached to it. And they will help blend your paint. And I just wipe right through that without even noticing. But that's okay, because I needed some of that color down below. And that's okay with me. All right, so that's a lot of fun so far. And I think I'm just gonna give myself permission to finish the same way I started. Any old which way. And I like those colors in particular, so. I know I started with that black under there. I'm not certain I needed it, but I had to find out. Um, da -dum -dum. Where is, what am I looking for? <laughs> I haven't used any dark, dark purple, and that's okay. I'm gonna put some black in there and see what happens. I could swipe that like I have been. I think I wanna just go back You gotta remember to stop and let things relax right off the basting brush. And when I see something that I like the look of that I don't think I need to change, even though I haven't added any texture to it by pulling it, I should go ahead and do that too. Yes, there's that Prussian blue. I like all of that. Been playing with abstract expressionist art today and having a really good time doing it. I got out to, in the yard to take some pictures and it looked just oh so plain. I was a little disappointed. Sometimes the, uh, the fluid art looks so good in a photograph that it surprises me. All right, I'm going to try and pay attention to what's going on here so I have a chance maybe in some future time to repeat my my decisions and I kind of still like the swiped areas and I'm very tempted to go ahead and do some more of that. I'm gonna put that basting brush down instead of oh I hate wasting paint and I got some going right over the edge. That's okay. I did a pretty thorough job cleaning off my spatulas this time. I scrubbed them, I felt them with my hands, and I looked for nubbies that would drag the paint where I didn't want it. I like all of that. I want a solid line of gold there, though. That's just simple and beautiful. I like that a lot. I have enough paint on my spatulas so I can touch up the places that are calling out to me on my edges. 
all the way around, blending in pretty well. I don't know what else I need. I'm spattering my spare paint everywhere. I do have beautiful paint on my spatula. And I think, yeah, I don't think I am. I was going to say I'm tempted to, but I'm just going to do it. That's what I like and that's where it's going. I don't have too, too many untouched edges because this time I was smart and used enough paint near the edges or in the in the paint I was pouring on there. What is keeping me from... Oh, okay. Goodbye, timer. So I've got to be a little careful of all this extra paint that I've got hanging around over here. Come on, turn, 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 boo. Okay, so I keep saying, okay, so... <laughs> I think, give myself permission. Let's see how much time we have left. Oh, we've got plenty of time left. I can play. I don't know if I should play, but I can. I'm going to throw some paint right on my bamboo skewer and put it into some wet paint and pull it around. I'm very tempted to do that with the uh, the white pearl too. Just to zhuzh it up a, a little bit. I tend to want some of that turquoise over here. I'm not sure if it's my if it's my absolute best idea. I think I kind of want it with uh, with the other. We shall see if I am correct. question is, do I want to do anything to that now, or do I want to just leave it like it wound up when I did that? Which is kind of different, huh? Different is good. Changing the, uh, the texture of things is good. bit of lacy stuff is good. That's neat. I'm not saying it's going to stay because you can never tell what I'm going to do. Just using the flat end of the bamboo skewer to pull that into place. I'm tempted to go overboard. I guess I'm just going to do what I feel like doing. Oh well. I do love my, my black canvases, I gotta say. I'm not the only one, too. My husband is a big fan. He's like, oh, I love that. <laughs> I, I never get tired of hearing people tell me they love something I just did. Makes me feel good immediately. I think we're all the same. We like praise. <laughs> what can I say? So, that's neat up there. And I am more determined than ever not to change it. And I want to look at the rest of this stuff. And I see I had a little blob there. I also got a little gap, which doesn't really bother me. Um, I think that was a lot more gold than I expected there, but that's okay. We'll take what we get and run with it. This is a prime example of what I always wanted to do, which was take the abstract expressionist aspect of things and take my sense of design and composition and uh, combine the two to get this kind of effect where I was taking advantage of both situations. But that looks like I dragged something through it a little bit. Let's have a little bit of black there. It's going to be a different texture because it's shiny black paint it probably won't show that much unless I dip my skewer in there right now yep that's fine <laughs> that worked just pick up with the skewer give it a bit of a shove I am going to try and take my torch to this right after I notice if all of my edges are where I want them to be covered somewhat. And they are. 
I really want to do some strange stuff. I keep getting inspired to just add things unexpectedly. And by the same token, <laughs> uh, I'll just repeat that somewhere else. So it makes it a little more coherent. And that's kind of fun. I like all of that. I'm still being called to that blue. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that blue. Uh, I think... I'm going to use it. Because it's a beautiful blue. Take the paint that's on my skewer and roll it down over the edge where it continues. Pick up some more. It's very tempting to take that. Sort of merge it. That is my timer telling me that I have two minutes left to tell you whatever. And I just splooshed on the edge of my canvas. And I want to do that right there while I still can remember to do so. Off you go. And since we're done, I should tell you that if you shop the Teespring link under the video, those are designs that I added and studio slogans that I added. And under the video, if you can see the description under the video, there's a paint pouring recipe in the middle of it. and. Pinterest and Instagram at the bottom. Excuse me while I focus. And uh, volumes one, two, and three of Facebook albums containing the YouTube wet and dry artworks. I'm hoping to catch up one day soon. I do sell my artwork, so if you'd like to get in touch with me, please feel free. You're more than welcome to. If you have questions for me, please feel free. Just mention it on YouTube. I give classes at the house. If you're anywhere near Spring Hill and you want to come down, I'm here most of the time. I would love to have your thumbs up. I would love to know where my crib sheet is. <laughs> I have a book on the Amazon link below the video, along with my uh, Color Shift paints, Anita's paints, you name it, it's there. The Princeton Artel Catalyst spatulas are there. The OXO omelet turning spatulas are there. And my book is called Because I Can. I know we're going to run out of time. And I want my bamboo skewer back. What did I do with it? Oh. I don't know. This one will have to do. Anyway, so I often tell you that I torch to release the bubbles in the paint, so that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> Excuse me. It may release a few patterns, it may not. We've got some great cells. really like this piece. I love you guys. Thank you all for the contributions that have kept me painting so far. And thank you very much for all the comments that make my day every time you leave me a pleasant reaction to my artwork. I appreciate that very much. I'm sure I forgot something. I don't have any idea what it is. I see that I have some black paint right there. And I don't want it all alone. I'm not sure I like that anymore. But there's always something that can be done. Fortunately. No, that's not going to bother me too much. And you are probably gone. And I will see you in the next video if you're not. And I already told you I loved you. I tell you all the time. Because I do. I'll see you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Spring Hill at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. Saying, I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out. And you're still here. Wow. And I'm going to write my camera, let you see that whole thing. And uh, I don't think there's much of anything else to say other than in the last 20 seconds of the video, you will find my playlist. And there are more than 430 videos on that playlist. So if you like what I do, there's plenty more to see. I like my little lacy round things. I wasn't expecting.